Bonjour tout le monde. Tout le monde. <rire> tout le monde. <rire> euh, notre monde euh, rapetisse, on dirait. Uh, welcome everyone. Uh, we're uh, not going to waste any time and be as efficient as we can. Bienvenue à tous. Uh, ça nous fait plaisir de vous voir. Uh, on a avec nous uh, uh, le ministre Uh, des choses municipales, le ministre des, des uh, Local Government. Alors, uh, sans plus tarder, uh, M. Glenn uh, Savoie, uh, je n'ai pas une grande description de son background ni rien de ça, alors ce uh, sera à vous de vous présenter uh, vous-même. Uh, ceci étant dit, on va débuter uh, immédiatement. So, let's get the show on the road. So, you can get on the road. <laughs> Uh, good morning, and thank you very much for having me here today. Bonjour, et merci beaucoup de m'accueillir aujourd'hui. Et attendez, je dois mettre mes lunettes. Oh, okay, better. Now, now I have to do this, so it, it's, I can see there, I just can't see here. In the few months since I became Minister of Local Government, it's been my great pleasure to get to know our local government officials and staff. I'd like to give you all a brief update on the Local Governance Reform Initiative. J'aimerais vous fournir une brève mise à jour au sujet de la, la réforme de la gouvernance locale. It's been a very busy year with the new structure fully in place as of January 1st. Since that time, local government has worked closely with you through this transition process. We conducted onboarding sessions for CAOs as well as the CEOs of the regional service commissions. Orientation sessions were offered and about 350 elected officials and administrative staff voluntarily took part. We also announced implementation funding for items such as promotion and marketing, signage, websites, human resources, legal fees and others. Nous avons reçu beaucoup d'informations de votre part sur la commission de gouvernance locale. Maintenant que la loi a reçu la sanction royale, la commission est en train d'être mise en place et les offres d'emploi pour le personnel seront bientôt publiées. Des règlements ont été élaborés concernant les compétences et les qualifications nécessaires du personnel et ils, ils seront finalisés dans les semaines à venir. L'engagement avec les associations se poursuit. D'autres règlements sont en cours d'élaboration afin d'adresser diverses questions procédurales et opérationnelles. Après la consultation des parties prenantes, les commentaires seront pris en compte et les règlements seront rédigés et publiés pour la procédure d'examen public de 28 jours. La commission devrait être opérationnelle en 2024. RSCs have adopted a regional strategy that will guide the implementation of their expanded mandates. The Regional Services Support Fund is now open for application with the aim of supporting activities prioritized in the regional strategies. There are additional social focus mandates for the Capital Region, Fundy and Southeast RSCs are still under development and more information is to come. This will allow them to pool resources, share costs and identify common priorities to offer good quality, affordable and sustainable services and infrastructure. It's always been a busy year from a planning perspective. I'm pleased to advise that the regulations on inclusionary zoning and statements of public interest following the public review process have been approved by government and will come into effect on October 1st. L'année a également été chargée du point de vue de l'aménagement du territoire. J'ai le plaisir d'annoncer que les règlements sur le zonage inclusif et les déclarations d'intérêt public ont été approuvés par le gouvernement à la suite de la procédure d'examen public et qu'ils entreront en vigueur le 1er octobre. These are very significant improvements that planners have requested for a very long time. The new regulations will help to improve land use planning and promote more responsible and managed development for future generations. The department will have materials available to assist local governments, RSCs, and those involved in land use planning to understand the statements of public interest. This information will be posted on our provincial and community planning website in the coming days. And of course, we have brought forward several initiatives as part of phase one of financing local governments. We introduced different tax rates based on service levels and local rate flexibility on business properties in support of local governments. There was also now an updated transition mechanism for the community funding grant. 
and to encourage local governments to revitalize their downtown cores, we've provided additional funding for business improvement areas. More discussions will take place with associations and other stakeholders before we move to phase two of financing local governance. D'autres discussions auront lieu avec les associations et d'autres parties à partie prenante avant de passer à la phase 2 du financement du système de gouvernance local. So that is a brief update on local governance reform. I can't thank you all enough for the incredible amount of work you've done to help get, to, get us to this point. We know that there will be more work in the months to come, and I look forward to our collaboration. Nous savons qu'il y aura encore du travail dans les mois à venir, et je suis heureux de poursuivre notre collaboration continue. Thank you. Merci.